probably gonna storm it, right? Or magic. Nice. Okay. Flying bird. Hi, how's it going everyone? I thought, you know, it's time to try out Phoenix Force deck. I know everyone has been playing it and has gameplays of it. And you have seen all of them. You might be sick of it by now. It's okay if you don't want to watch it. But I thought I should just try it out and showcase gameplays of it. And with the recent patch to Phoenix Force and Ghost Spider, it makes sense to try it out because I think it has somewhat gotten better. Cheaper Ghost Spider, cheaper Phoenix Force allows us to play our multiple men, flying multiple men early on. We can generate more multiple men. And I think in this deck, I decided to add a twist to it. I've seen someone suggested this twist on Marvel Snap subreddit, which is adding Orca instead. Because usually the package here is you would put Heimdall on the 6 core spot so that when you generate the Phoenix Force, you have Heimdall, you can generate more copies of multiple men. But for me, I'm not 5 hit enough. I don't like calculating. Heimdall is too much of a pain to calculate, so I will just leave it out and I will play Orca instead because the person said that Orca seems to be doing pretty well because of the manipulation of different cards. You can ensure you have an empty lane to drop Orca to push for 16 power, which is nice. I mean, brain dead, turn 6, Orca, 16 power. And then you have your another set of cards like Human Torch or Multiple Men to move them around, increase the power, generate more copies of multiple men to win other lanes. And I think there's another version which is the Shuri one, I haven't tried it out, but I don't like to get Shang-Chi. So with Shuri, it seems very OP, very Exodia-ish in this case, but I don't think it makes visible sense. It's not really viable, I feel, if you try so long to build that up, and then your opponent can just Killmonger your Human Torch or just Shang-Chi your multiple men. So it doesn't really make much sense. I think Shui is more suited for your... your What is it again? How can I forget about this card? Yes, Nimrod. It makes more sense with Nimrod. Otherwise, I don't think it's a good choice. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But overall, this is an interesting deck, a fun one. But it requires a lot of thinking. I, I suck at move decks, man. There's too much thinking. There are some gameplays where I just stop thinking. I just anyhow put my cards. But I still end up winning, so that's nice. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and consider checking out the Patreon page. That's where I share a lot of the decks I'm playing right now. You can test it out firsthand and support the channel and enjoy the gameplay, man. There's too much thinking. I'm very tired now. I gotta take a break. Oh, that's rude. STFU. <laughs> mm. I have no idea what he's gonna play. So I'm pretty concerned here. I think I can put this here, it's fine. I need to see what he's gonna play first. Okay, so that means he doesn't have... Um... Oh, do I want multiple men instead? But I don't have multiple men, that's the problem. Uh... Then I got the Phoenix Force. Move around. I guess we can just go ahead with this, because we have Orca to fight with, right? This is actually a strange one. Oh my god, we get to summon our Phoenix Force early. Is he gonna stop this location? Probably gonna storm it, right? Or magic. Magic is like the coolest thing nowadays. Yeah. Wind aid my hand. Okay. We'll just move to the left. To the left, to the left. Um, we can do this, we can do this, and then we move here. The next time we can move our voucher over as well. And we can just end it with like soup. <laughs> kind of late. Probably should have snapped first before I move. Yeah. I got this feeling he's gonna Shang-Chi me. Ah shit. He took my Orca. He took my Orca, man. That's fine. We're both in a good position here. You can just keep moving. I think that's fine. You move. We move to here. We move we move to here. And then we move back here. Uh no. The question here is where do I want to go, right? 
Move, move, move. Ähm. Ja, I think this is the right play. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I move it here. Nice. Okay, cool. It's time to update, right? 16, isn't it? Okay, he thinks that I trying to play something huge, isn't it? That's not the case, man. Uh, this is gonna grow. I guess we move it over here. And then we just play this here, right? I think it should be fine. 11, 17, 16. Still end up winning. So that's alright. Can play his Orca, but I think our total is higher, right? Because we have 17. So we are good. Hopefully it works. Come on. Please make it work. Yeah, 56 human tosh. Kinda scary. I don't know what he's playing. And we are moving first, right? Imagine he has like Professor X and he opens first, then he locks out last. But it's, the movement comes first, right? Before the opening of the card. Yeah. It's a tough one. Probably gonna Orca. Oh wait, he has Jeff. Is that Jeff? I think that's Jeff. Oh nice! He didn't play Orca in the end. Ah, flying bird! Flying bird! Okay, finally we have multiple men. Multiple men and carnage. Hopefully we can run our Phoenix combo. Okay, he's running Hella. Oh, Silver Surfer. Okay, I think we need to make sure that we draw the hand that we need here. Uh, okay, cool. Then we can... We can drop this. We eat, we drop this, we drop our bird, we cook, we, we pull it out, we drop the bird, the bird moves to the left. Okay, makes sense. Yep. Okay, Iron Feast. Um, we bird here. Move one, two. Then kicks it to the left. Double. We'll draw what? 14 cards, I suppose. Please don't discard Orca. The most important one. Okay, we need to develop our. Okay, how do we do this? Uh we can move here. I think the important part is we do this. Uh, we do this. No, not the right way. Go here. Uh, fire. Do this. He has to go back again. Yeah, I think he has to go back. Maybe I should just put Voucher and Dagger instead. Pull it over. I think that's fine. So what we do is we do... It still doesn't really make much sense here actually. So what we do is we move this here. Then we move this here. And then we can, we can, 
we can eat it and then we bring this over yeah is that the right choice can't really tell no because we move it over already right so that means that one two three so we try and hit both sides i think then we bring it i think this is fine for now there's too much movement i can't even keep track it's tough man it's so tough because I want to put Doctor Strange in the middle, but I'm not bringing anything over with that. Ah crap. It's gonna hit me. That's fine, 16. Holy moly. Holy moly, we won. I thought it was Hella. Oh, that was interesting. We are playing the exact same deck previously. Like I was testing out a Moon Knight Gambit discard But it doesn't work I want it to work Because it seems so cool But the discard part is so difficult Even if you have Ghost Rider it's still tough Oh nice Not too bad Uh, We set up our multiple men first hmm. Breaking news. Okay he's running Hella We will do this and we'll pull it over here. And then we will try and run something like a Doctor Strange and it makes sense to run Voucher. And then we can end with Cloak. Voucher, Cloak, that seems to work. What's that for? Okay. Let's drop our multiple men. Pull our human torch over. Okay, he hasn't hit Hella yet, so that's strangely worrying. We can do a Venom to eat it. It's a bit too late already, I feel. Like if we eat it, unless we draw a Iron Fist, then that might work, I guess. Hmm. What we can probably do is we can do this here. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, that's all we can do actually. There is a, there really isn't much we can produce here unless we use Doctor Strange to pull over. But we are pulling two cards though. I think that's a problem. It. They are both it. Hmm. Just gonna bank on the fact that he doesn't have Hella. Does he have Hella? I hope I hope not. Oh he has Hella. Damn it. <laughs> oh unlucky. Probably should run Living Tribunal in this deck, right? But I think this guy is like a new might be a new pool tree player. Oh, we have Orca, nice. And we have our multiple men. Many, many men. Many, many men. Uh. Let me set ourselves up with dagger first. Craven, okay. Pretty interesting. Um, kind of makes absolute sense to put a voucher here to move it down. Because my power ends up 
getting higher, right? Ah, maybe too much. Not good. I think I have a decent chance in this. But there's a good chance he might fly around with a bird. Can't say for sure. I think I just put all car first and see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for the reassurance. Uh, let's do this. Do this. Um. I guess we can do this. We try and build towards our human torch here. Wait a minute, how come my human torch didn't move? Oh shit, I played it the wrong way. Ah oh, crap. Damn it. Okay. Probably gonna put these cards here instead. Yeah. Let's just push for the left. I think I kind of made the mistake there. I wanted to build my, my human torch, but it doesn't matter right, because he has Spider Man 2099. He's gonna kick my human torch either way. Still tough, man. I think still haven't gotten used to move decks. Okay, we have our key pieces here. Ooh. Oh my god, please don't hit multiple men. Okay, that's fine. That's that's alright. That's alright. Ah, there's a good chance he's running Killmonger. He might snap us here. Maybe I should have set up Dagger instead. This might have worked better. Maybe I should do a dagger. I should do this, right? Then I bring this over. Because I need to fill up the spot. Can potentially get like my six cost cut that cost zero. So we bring it over, we ping everything, we pro provide a decent amount of damage. And I think we are pretty much good here. Enough said, Bob. Even if he kill killmongers us, we are pretty much good. That's not bad. Uh mm. I think I will just all call the left. Apocalypse. Apocalypse Venom. Phoenix bring it back. I think we snap here. I feel that I could have all cut the left though. Is that, was that the right choice? Then I'm gonna double again. That's fine. Because I can double multiple places, right? I was hoping I can Orca, but currently thinking about this now, we don't really need to Orca alone anymore. We just Phoenix here. And I think we are pretty much good. Just having one more piece here would be nice. Then we grab our Apocalypse. Wait, I should have put Ap Apocalypse on the left, but I think the concern really was if we were to Shang-Chi, right? I'm pretty much doomed. Kind of in deep shit, I have to say. Yeah. He's gonna eat this and he's gonna transfer to the left, so I think we transfer to the right. No, oh, but I can put Shang-Chi. He already put Carnage, so he can't put. 
Chang-Chi. Okay, that's great. He doesn't have the cards then. Because there was two ways to do it, right? I could have put my Phoenix on the left to, to double again. But the concern was there was Shang-Chi. Because he's running a death deck, obviously. Oh, nice. We have our Human Torch and Phoenix Force. I guess there's a chance there. I don't want to... Wait a minute. Should I just drop Human Torch first? Uh, let's do this, and let's do this. Okay, then we pull it over. And I think here, what we will do is we will drop Cloak to put our Human Torch over. To get it to 8. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's giving us uh, our multiple men as well. And then we can just eat this, right? I suppose. Yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> and at the end of the day, we can go with our Orca. That's fine. And then we eat it. Nice. Oh my god, he ate the wrong thing or he ate too much, isn't it? Okay, cool, cool. Uh What the heck? Did he just give me a venom? Okay, interesting. Let's do this. I think what we can do, right, is we can... Okay, what is he going to summon? Multiple men. Okay, same. <laughs> we are both, what, 12 power, I guess. That's fine. I think what we're going to do is we will... Do this, move this over. And then... We can put Orca here. Nice. I think he made the mistake. Did he make a mistake? I think because we have our early human torch, right? We didn't rely on human torch. Like, we didn't try to spawn Phoenix with human torch instead. So we just use it as a power push.